Well, hello there, I'm Detroit. I printed my face on a stick to use as a puppet. And then I felt so silly and couldn't concentrate on what I had to say. I wanted to keep it in the corner of the video, but I got rid of it so fast, I might as well not have used it at all. Let me tell you how this video was supposed to go. I did an unboxing video. I even recorded an audio commentary while I was testing out this new fountain pen, hence the concentration I needed. As I'm recording this again, I have to admit I'm quite pissed. All the audio I recorded is oversaturated because the microphone setup was bad. So now I have to record the audio separately. Let's get this over with and start the unboxing. An unboxing video is not something I plan on doing, but recently I received this box. My parents actually sent this to me as a present, which I find very sweet and I love them. It's a fountain pen pack, complete with ink and refills and stuff. It really looks nice. I don't know much about the brand or the pen itself, because it's the first time I've seen it, and I don't really want to google it. Since it's a gift, I don't really feel like finding out the price accidentally. What matters is that the pen looks really nice, and it feels nice too. I'm cheating a bit because now I've already drawn with it a bunch of times. By the way, watch the entire video because there are two complete drawings coming later. I need some watch time, so please don't skip ahead either. For years now, I spent all my time drawing with fountain pens, but I never had any good quality pen. I mean, I don't think the one I used before are bad, but my fountain pens are all cheap brands that you can find at your random local store. So I'm really excited for a nice pen. As you can see, the box contains a set of ink cartridges, as well as a piston converter. I've never used a pen with one of these before. Years ago, I had a squidgy one, the one you press to suck in the ink. I think a classmate stole it from me or something. Anyway, I digress. When you fill a fountain pen reservoir with ink, a paper towel is always appreciated. Ink stains a lot, and the stains remain for a long time. I might have never done this before, filling a reservoir with ink, but I've watched enough Peter Draw's video to know the theory behind it. By the way, Peter, I'm calling you out. Earlier this week, you released a video advertising your awesome custom fountain pen. I wanted one, so I went on the website, chose a pen, etc, etc, but guess what? The pens do not ship to France. What am I supposed to do? That's not cool, man. No, I'm kidding. I'm not angry or anything. And I received this pen right before, so I didn't need a new pen at all. As I suspected, filling the ink is not that hard. That didn't stop me from making a mess with my fingers though. Now let's skip over the awfully long time I spent scrubbing my hands with soap and go straight into today's first ink drawing. Starting a drawing with a pen you've never used before is thrilling and a bit scary. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it has to do with the fact that I'm recording a video at the same time. Which is a stupid concern because I draw all the time and nothing keeps me from deleting the video if it turns out bad. I've done that many times. From the moment the tip of the fountain pen touched the paper of my favorite notebook, I was already in love with the pen. The flow of ink feels perfect. The lines are full and thick. I like all sorts of fountain pen, but my preference has always been thicker and more fluid lines. When the pen scratches on the paper is a different feeling that I like with other types of pen, but for a fountain pen I prefer the smooth feeling when the nib glides over the paper. And the paper of this sketchbook is quite rough, so that should be a good indication of how soft the nib is. The nib itself is probably medium sized. It's not written on it and I've looked in the box but it doesn't really say. I think my next pen I'm gonna choose a small or extra fine nib, but for this one medium is perfect. The ink is pretty nice as well. I'm used to black ink cartridges that I find at a local store. I'm not sure if it's the quality of the ink or the fact that it comes in a nice bottle and makes me feel like a pro when I fill the reservoir, but the ink feels like top quality to me. It's definitely a deeper dark than the cartridges. The rate at which the ink dries is quite good too. In combination with the type of paper I'm using, the dry parts of the drawing are dry enough so that I can rest my drawing hand on it and not smudge everything. I haven't really tested that out specifically, but I didn't smudge any of the two drawings in this video, so that's good. There's nothing wrong with smudging, but it really depends on what the drawing is. For this first one, I didn't care as much, but smudging the second one would have pissed me off a lot more. This drawing doesn't represent much, 
I didn't think about it at all and just started drawing. I played on the thickness of the lines to have a nice consistent contrast and weird shapes. The tiny flower arms and the trunk I added simply because I didn't know how to finish it. For me, the star of this show is the second drawing. It simply feels a lot nicer to look at and a bit more thought went into it. As I get to the second drawing, I'm thinking, have I even told you about the brand of the pen at this point? Just in case I forgot, the brand is Cross. I guess you've seen the box in the beginning, so since the name is written on it, you've already got that. Specifically, the box says Cross Est 1846 USA, and the logo is a lion facing straight at me. I have the box under my eyes now, and it's really nice. It's like a leathery cardboard box with that specific brand new smell to it. This is not a smelling YouTube channel though, it's a drawing one. Stop asking me weird questions about the smell of the box, okay? I wanna talk art. Right from the start, this drawing shows a single line going around the page. Well, not a line, the in-between lines. The white part. It goes all the way then back on itself. That pattern isn't too hard to draw, but with a soft nib, it's an absolute pleasure to do. Deep dark ink curling softly, it's a simple pleasure, you know? I wouldn't have felt the same satisfaction with a scratchy pen, that's for sure. Listening to Buena Vista Social Club while effortlessly laying down sweet lines and munching on small bag of M&Ms, which are also sweet by the way, that's the life right there. Everything doesn't have to be a challenge. I mean, I wouldn't make a video each week if I didn't enjoy drawing for myself. The videos are just a byproduct of it, they're not the main reason I draw. When you draw a pattern which makes sense, like this continuous white line, you have to take a bit of consideration of where you want to take your lines. At a few points, I had to pin down my M&Ms and think about it because I absolutely didn't want to get stuck and not be able to continue my line. That would have ruined my simple pleasure. That wouldn't spark joy, you see. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that drawing. You can see in the end that I added a twist to this pretty regular drawing so far. You see, filling the entire page with a single pattern is fine. And this is what I do most of the time. But sometimes, when the pattern is too simple, or rather uniform, it's better in my opinion to switch it up by changing the shape for something unexpected. I didn't make a large rectangle of swirls. I cut a hole in that at the end and put straight lines in it. Kind of a simplified spider web. Maybe the whole pattern is just an expansion of that spider web. Maybe it's not completely formed yet, and if you wait long enough, the page will progressively be denser and denser as the pattern continues. Maybe we have just peered into a brief moment, lost in time, momentarily stopping the inevitable feeling of the blank page. And I was definitely not lazy in finishing the drawing. I hope you enjoyed the whole thing. Just for the sake of filming an unboxing, pen review, two drawings with two cameras, make two audio recordings as well, I think you should consider subscribing. Leave a like and a comment on this video as well to make sure I understand how much you liked it. My Instagram with all my drawings is in the description and you can hit me up on Twitter and Reddit as well. Lots of love. Bye.